Although the Oregon Employment Department has made some progress getting through that backlog of initial regular unemployment claims, thousands of Oregonians are still waiting for benefits and will continue to ask questions until everyone gets their claims paid. Our Lindsay Nadrich getting answers tonight for people who still cannot seem to get a check. Lindsay? Yeah, the employment department says 99% of the initial regular unemployment claims have now been processed. But as you mentioned, there are still thousands waiting who applied under the pandemic unemployment assistance program. And we're told that's what they're now focusing on. I know a couple barbers that are at a point now where they're, they're pretty much, do I pay my rent or and sell my car? Or do I keep my car and live in it? Going this long without unemployment benefits is forcing many people to make tough decisions. I've heard from dozens of people who are behind on bills and rent as they wait for benefits that never seem to come. Here we are 14 weeks later and it's been, I'd say, more of a, a nightmare of having like a, a carrot dangled in front of our face that we just can't reach. Marty Caballero, who owns Slabtown Barbershop in Northwest Portland, filed a claim under the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance or PUA program. Today, we learned he's one of thousands with PUA claims who are still waiting. The numbers are not good and they are not just numbers. Each number represents either a person that we've been able to get direly needed benefits to or a person who is anxiously waiting for us to be able to do so. Acting Director David Gerstenfeld told us 97,000 PUA claims have been filed. Of those, they determined 24,000 claims are eligible. And so far, they've paid benefits to 17,000 people. But there are still 70,000 PUA claims left that need to be entered into the system. So that's a lot of people who are still waiting for benefits. Marty tried calling a thousand times yesterday and never got through on the phone. He finally had better luck this morning. I'm like, I'm still sick to my stomach with the idea that like, I kind of won the lottery and that I got through today and was able to take care of all this paperwork. What happens to the folks that just can't, you know, and when do they, when are they going to get help? You know? Gerstenfeld says he knows it's still too difficult to call in. So they're hiring more employees and adding more phone lines. They're also doing more outreach and have about 15 National Guard members calling people with PUA claims. So in Marty's case, he actually found out the forms he submitted were blank. I asked about this today and I heard that it's happening to multiple people. So when you fill out the form online, you're supposed to download it, save it to your computer, then fill it out. If you don't do that first, the form ends up being blank when you submit it. I know that's a little in the weeds here, but Marty told me he didn't even know this was happening for a couple of weeks. So if you're still waiting, it might be worth a double check. Reporting live, I'm Lindsay Natterich, Point Six News.